High tech bullet coating. Uh, I'm not going to do a real in depth video on this. I just spent most of the day out here in the garage screwing around trying out this type of coating, which is like an alternative to powder coat. Now, any NEO bullet molds does have a series of molds called high tech molds. And what it is, I got one for the 458 SOCOM. You got a bullet, just plain sided, like a, uh, <coughs> for powder coating or whatever, or this high tech coat. And where this is kind of different than the powder coating, is you get your powder here, and you mix, it's all in metric, you mix 306 grains he gave me, so I got something, I got to scale out. You mix the grains, and then you mix it with three and a half ounces of acetone or whatever. <clears throat> Put it in a bottle, shake it up, makes this weird fluid. And then uh, what I do is I just pour it in a glass and use a little syringe, and you use one milliliter for every pound of bullets. And I'm doing three pounds of bullets at a time, so three millimeters, three milliliters. Uh, you squirt it to a little bucket, swirl it around, and then let it dry. You gotta let it dry. And once it dries, you put it in the toaster oven at 400 for anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. It's kind of up to you. I've been doing 10 um, between it. The trick to this is when you're swirling it in the bucket, it says 15 to 20 seconds. What happens is, and you'll get splotchy coatings, and you're going to have to do this a minimum of three times. The key is when you're swirling it, I count, you know, 1,001 to 15. And you want the bullet somewhat wet still, because if it's the acetone starts to evaporate, it gets tacky, and I guess it, it smears the finish or whatever, or makes it spotty. So what I've done is you got to kind of, while it's wet, and you're supposed to put it in baskets, and I haven't done that. But I'll show you my results, and I found three coatings. I'll show you what it looks like after three coatings. And, uh, you know, four might be a charm. Next time around, maybe I'll do four, but three uh, times is sufficient. So let's take a look at the setup. All right, for the baking, I'm just using a toaster oven you get in any department store. I got it set on 400 constant, and you get it warmed up, and then you start. And I use the same setup. These just came out after three coats. Hopefully you can see them. They don't look too terrible. There we go. They don't look too terrible. Okay. This batch is drying. See, I ain't got a basket. I'm just drying them on a tin. And this batch has got their third coat on there. And it's kind of a bluish gray. Then for some reason when you heat it up it turns green. But I ordered the gunmetal black like color and that's I don't know. Whatever, we're gonna see if it works. Because I'm gonna use this in the AR for the 458 SOCOM. You know, there's the tools I'm using to mix all this. Uh, I should get some lab wear if I'm gonna get into this or any kind of high production. But that's it. It's just a quick one. Uh, like I said, the only advice I can give you is when you're swirling the mixture onto the bullets between the coatings, make sure it's only 15 seconds and they're still kind of wet and coated all over. The coating evens out. But it's just a little spot report. Like I said, not terrible. Let those cool off. Then I'll test them later. But a lot of work to get in to doing this, you know, but I guess the benefits pay off. Alright, so that's my little quick blip on the uh, high tech. High tech powder coating. Camera won't focus for handshakes. Ah. Alrighty.